Hey everyone, Danahan here again, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on your SNES Classic using Hackchi 2.21e. So let's go ahead and get started. So just like we've installed in the past, go ahead and get your file and make sure that you just drag it and drop it into HackG2. And again, you see all these files here you want to import as archive. We'll use Ultimate Mortal Kombat as an example. So right here is where we have the difference. We're now including this new MAME 2003 command line argument which means we have to get a new core, which is MAME 2003. So we're going to go here to KMFD Manix website. He has a GitHub. He also has a channel on YouTube. Go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link below in the description. What we're going to need to do is get the core from his set here. So what you're going to do is scroll down, right click, and save link as. So if you don't have 7-zip, you should get that installed on your computer as well. But you're going to download this file, kmfdmanic nesc snesc cores 10.24.17 as of this date. And what we're going to do is extract it. Right-click 7-zip, extract files, press OK. Once that is done, we'll go to the file folder, open that up. And you can see now that there are a ton of cores here. We'll go ahead and check out MAME 2003. We'll highlight that core and then we'll go into our user mods. And what we'll do here is drag it and drop it over to this side. Okay, so once we have the core inside of the user mods, we're going to go back in Hack G2 modules. And we're going to look for MAME 2003. Select that. Click OK, and then what you're going to do is, if it's powered on, you're going to power it off. You're going to hold reset on your SNES Classic. Turn that on, and then wait five seconds. Let go of the reset button, and you should be able to flash that. We'll see you when I get back. And we're done here. So now that we have installed the module for MAME 2003, we will go into each of these ROMs, the Mortal Kombat 1, to and ultimate Mortal Kombat and change from what was zip to MAME 2003 and make sure that there's a space and that's it. We're going to go ahead and do that for all three of them, which I've already done. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that all of them have that. And if you haven't seen my video on how to get the arcade box art or at least the arcade poster art, go ahead and check out my previous video on CPS3 ROMs. I do an explanation on how to get those. Now that we have these three games installed, we'll go ahead and test them out on the Super NES Classic. I'll go ahead and synchronize. Toasty! So we'll be back soon. All right, and it looks like we have Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat. So let's go ahead and test out Mortal Kombat. Let's see how that loads. Okay, so it's working fine. Perfect. Audio's a bit bit choppy, but still works. Ooh. All right, so it works. The kicks block works. So Mortal Kombat works. Let's try Mortal Kombat 2. Cool. It looks like it's loading. Volume's a bit low, but that can be fixed by going to your settings. And pressing start and select on RetroArch. Going to audio. And then just increasing the audio. I just go up to 10. All right, start and select. Cool. Much better. Cool. 
I'm going to use Liu Kang because he's easy to use with just one hand. Remember WMAC Masters? Yeah, this is Superstar right here. Exit out of here. And last but not least, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. It's my favorite Mortal Kombat. Okay, it looks like it's loading. Perfect. And I have installed a Juggernauts hack for this particular version. I can go in depth with that particular hack in another video. So here you go. It's Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And check out this. So this hack. You'll have both Smoke and Noob Cybot on the main screen as well as the three Molina, Sub-Zero, and Ermac. So I'll go ahead and select Novice because I'm not that good at this game, but I still like it. Oh, it's really hard to play with one hand here. <laughs> All right, looks like all the buttons are working. Cool. And that's it. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm going to go ahead and leave more details in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section as I'll try to answer as much as I possibly can. Also, don't forget to check out my other SNES classic tutorials. And finally, if you liked the video, go ahead and click that like button. Good luck. Thanks for watching. <laughs>